Hey guys, my name is Kevin Yu. I'm with Auto Film Solutions out of Colorado. I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia with Hexus Graphics, and we're going to be discussing the SkinTac series. The SkinTac series is their cast PVC line of color change vinyl. We have two different lines, and it's the HX20,000 and the HX30,000 series. The HX20,000 will consist of more of your solid colors, your metallics, uh, available in gloss, satin, or matte. Your HX30,000 series is going to consist of all of your more exotic films. Your variochromes, superchromes, your carbon fibers, brushed aluminums are all going to lie in that uh, HX30,000 series. Today we're going to be doing a demonstration with the HX30,000 series. It's going to be the red current red mat, and we're going to be wrapping this fender here on this van. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, first step in the installation is we're going to go ahead and prep this fender. We're going to start with our shag remove product. We're going to spray this liberally on the fender. Shag remove is a product that will remove adhesive. It will also break down grease, oils, and road tar. So we can go ahead and clean this fender before we get to the final step. We're going to flip over our microfiber and remove any remnants of the actual product. We're also going to make sure that we get this product wiped into any crevices that we're going to be wrapping into. So which would be this area here under the headlight, conjoined to this bumper, and also in the fender well. All right, our final step in prepping this fender is going to be using our Shag Clean. Shag Clean is a solution that will remove all the remnants that are left over from the Shag Remove. This product is very, very similar to an isopropyl mix, uh, but it is specially formulated to treat this panel before we wrap it. It will remove all the uh, adhesive remover or any other solutions that we did apply to this panel. So I'm gonna flip this rag around as I did on the shag remove to just go ahead and dry it and remove any remnants of this product as well. And we're gonna make sure that we also apply and wipe this product into any crevices all right, the next step here is we're gonna go ahead and tape the surrounding panels. Uh, the reason why we're going to do that is because we are going to be trimming these panels out. Um, some of these panels are not removable or we cannot lift them. So a blade will be touching the vehicle. So we wanna protect the paint by cutting on tape instead of cutting on the actual vehicle itself. So we're going to tape the hood here. Another important piece that we're gonna tape is going to be this headlight. Doing this also creates some low surface energy. So when we are trimming the vinyl, the excess vinyl that's actually touching the headlight, the bumper, or any panels that we don't wanna wrap, um, have a hard time sticking to them. So we can, we can manipulate that film a lot better. Okay, so we have went ahead and cut off any excess tape that was touching the panel that does need to be wrapped. Um, as you can see, the tape is only going to be on the surrounding panels for protection. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take our vinyl. This is our HX 30,000 series. This is called Red Current Red Matte. We're gonna go ahead and start our install process. So the first thing we do is we Make sure that the piece of vinyl that we have um, has some bleed. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we cover every inch of this panel before we trim it out. So all I'm gonna do is just position this. We'll pass the fender on the back edge. We've got a couple inches up top, and of course we cover the bottom. And the first area we wanna trim is going to be right here where the tire and the wheel is. We've got a little bit of extra film here that we can trim out. So next step is I am going to pull back the liner on the vinyl and tack it to this A-pillar. Okay, that's gonna be our hinge. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the liner from the back. And loosely position the vinyl onto the vehicle. Now on fenders, I like to start next to the A-pillar area. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is do an upward stretch and tack this area. 
and make sure we are doing a proper corner technique while we're placing the vinyl at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit of pressure to set it while we go ahead and work on the bottom portion of this fender. And I'm gonna pull the vinyl down. And we're gonna relieve any tension. I'm just gonna cut out a little bit of excess here. So once I've got my upper tack point here, my lower one here on the fender, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the front. So we're gonna pop this back. And we're gonna stretch forward while maintaining uh, our two hands here are gonna be pulling in a V to release any tension. Okay. If we have any horizontal wrinkles here, we're gonna lift the vinyl up and pull straight down to release that. So we've got a couple wrinkles here that are horizontal. We're gonna pull straight up. And we're gonna finish this top area here of the fender and tack it down. So at this point, we've got the majority of the fender glassed out. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is start our squeegee process. Any part of the vinyl that is actually already touching the fender, we wanna go ahead and apply pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and squeegee and make sure that it fully makes contact. So this area up here, and back here. And the squeegee we're using here is our red shag squeegee. It has our sh shag buffers on them to reduce scratching. Uh, if you encounter any bubbles, the SkinTac series is produced with their patented hex press technology. Hex press is actually their air release pattern. So what we'll go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and put on our wrap glove and actually squeegee a part of this panel over here. And we're gonna go ahead and trap ourselves with some air. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and press this bubble out. All the air is gonna travel straight through the air channels and it'll release. So you can see that was a pretty large bubble there. And it's completely gone. All right, we're gonna finalize uh, squeegeeing this fender here. We're gonna heat up this recessed area. Uh, we're gonna push this down in one step. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this with a heat gun. Nice circular motion, even heat. All we wanna do is just really get it warm, not too hot, because we're gonna be using our wrap glove. We don't wanna have the cotton of the glove stick to it. Okay, while it's warm, we're gonna take the palm of our hand and we're gonna drive this vinyl straight down. Okay, we've got a small recessed area on the upper side of the fender here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and warm this up. And we're gonna take our wrap glove and we're gonna just go ahead and push this area straight down. We've got a large recessed area here that we are not going to relieve. We're going to use the cast properties in the film and we're gonna drop this area straight into this recessed area using a little bit of heat. So the 30,000 series is gonna be a little bit thicker than your average cast wrap vinyl. So we wanna use that to our advantage. Um, 30,000 series can take a lot of heat. 
and we're going to start here at this lower edge. And we're just going to use uh, my middle finger here. And I'm going to push in and I'm going to slide straight across. And while the vinyl's still warm, I'm going to push straight up. Now this area here, what we want to go ahead and do after it's pressed down is we still want to give it a decent amount of heat just to kind of set it. This is not going to be the only time we heat this area. We will still post heat, press it down so while we work on the rest of the panel, it does not pop back up on us. We're going to go ahead and start trimming out this panel and we're going to be using the shag knife. Uh, the shag knife is shag tools 30 degree blade. So what we're going to go ahead and do is start on the back of the fender. I'm going to be trimming out the excess here. I'm going to cut on the door side in this gap. That way it gives us roughly about an eighth of an inch to wrap into the back side of the fender. All right, we're going to start trimming out the A pillar area here. And we're going to trim on the A pillar side. Pull away the excess. We're going to cut on the tape here because we need a little bit of extra film to tuck in since this is a white vehicle. And I'm cutting on the tape that we previously put down. So we have no chance of cutting paint. Now we're going to cut in this empty space here, bumper side. So we can get our eighth inch wrap into this crevice. When I reach the corner here in the wheel well, I'm going to cut away and down. Now for the wheel well area, we do want to trim away a lot of this excess, uh, still leaving us roughly about an inch of material. I'm going to get it nice and warm. And we're going to slowly start working the material into the wheel well. And we're going to go ahead and trim this area out on the mud flap, leaving us roughly about an eighth inch so we can tuck underneath the flap. Now we're going to continue and finish rolling over the wheel well. We're going to pull this uh, mud flap back, tuck the film behind it. Now we're going to go ahead and start rolling all of our edges over. We're going to start at the corners. And we're going to heat them up because we did do a four-way stretch around the corners. When we heat them, they'll wrap themselves and then we can go ahead and start wrapping the rest of the panel in. Same thing up here, we're just gonna go ahead and heat these corners. And all we're doing is just giving it a little bit of heat so that corner can shrink and we can go ahead and press it down with our squeegee. And be careful not to start squeegeeing down any of the flat areas. Uh, doing so is going to leave a lot of wrinkles where your compound curves are. So you always wanna start at the corners and work yourself in. Let's open the front door so we can get access to the back of the front of the fender. And just like all the other edges, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of heat. And make sure we seal down that back edge. So our final step in the installation for the Skin Tac series is we want to make sure that all of our edges, all of our recessed areas are heated properly. Uh, the proper heat for post heating is gonna be 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's going to be the spec for the Skin Tac Series vinyl to break the memory and actually seat the vinyl. So this recessed area here, if we don't hit 194, what'll happen is we have the possibility of this recessed area popping back out. So we're gonna heat it. We're gonna pull our heat away. Check the temp, we're at 132.
Check the temp again, 160. And we're at 207. Now for your rolled edges or corners, we don't necessarily have to take it to 194, but we do need to heat every single edge and apply pressure to make sure they are sealed down. Applying that pressure after the heat is applied is super, super important as the film is heat sensitive and it is also pressure sensitive. So now we'll pull our tape away. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys learned a lot. Um, just make sure that with our skin tech series, you are always post heating. That is one super, super important thing here. Uh, our vinyl is heat sensitive and pressure sensitive. So even if it's just a simple rolled edge or a corner, make sure that you always, always post heat and we'll never have any issues in the future with skin tack failing. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions, go ahead and visit the link below. I'll see you next time.